for me, for my taste, the best kind of meetings, uh, I, I joke with patients, you know, I let them to go to what I call group therapy where they pay you. Uh, there's a group therapy where people go and they have to be there every day, they have to dress up a certain way, they follow certain tasks, and at the end of the week or the end of two weeks they get paid. And everyone says, oh, geez, where's that? I've never heard of that. That's a job. Some people obviously know that and they've heard that joke. Um, but that's my favorite kind of group therapy. I'm looking for people to be doing constructive things outside themselves. You can talk about yourself endlessly and still never find the exact answer of why you started drugs and so forth. If my sons, for instance, uh, God forbid, wound up on narcotics, I'm not sure I'd want to send them right to NA because you have a group of other narcotic users, at least historically, maybe whether they're actively using or not. There are a whole bunch of people who know the ins and outs of where to score when, when the itch arrives. I would rather people, if they need to be in a group, try to figure out what I call affinity groups, things they like. If you like playing volleyball, join a volleyball league. You like playing softball, join a softball team. You know, if you have an interest in changing a career, you want to be a manicurist, go to a, a beautician school. Find groups that, that will help you grow. 